I don't know if you've been told, guys, uh, but it's Enemy's 70th birthday next month. 70th? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm as amazed as you are. <laughs> Can you guys tell me what the Enemy has kind of meant to you over the over your careers? Because I know... So that would mean 1952. Yeah. I wonder which feuds Enemy was uh, hosting, pitting which artists against other artists in 1952. What fucking Chuck drama were they them. stirring in their pot 70 Duke, years ago? Duke Ellington and someone else, probably. Yeah, I mean, it's easy nowadays. <laughs> fucking, you know, you just pick whoever you want and fucking start a war. Uh, that's incredible. I had no idea. No. I thought it was a 60s thing. Um, well, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Do you remember kind of reading it when you were growing up? I, I remember In the first... 50s? No. <laughs> I remember my father telling me about Enemy. Yeah. Um, no, I remember going over to when we first started going over to the UK in like the mid '90s, and we don't, you know, there's no magazines here like Enemy, where it's like, you know, the rivalries and all the kind of like smack talking, you know, and Britain and that kind of thing that seems peculiar to the UK of like building up a band and then yes. kind of like a, some smack talking, tearing them down. Yeah. There's a kind of tabloid element to it that just doesn't, it's it's a lot more fun, honestly, uh, <laughs> than what happens here. But then I kept thinking like, well, okay, next time we come back, then that's when the real shit talking about the Foo Fighters is going to happen. You know, like they're going to, we're going to, I'm going to open up Enemy and it's just going to be like, fuck the Foo Fighters. I just kept waiting for the other shoe to drop. <laughs> it's inevitable. Yeah. I mean, I remember coming over, the first time I really discovered Enemy was coming over with Nirvana. Um, before then, I was too punk rock. I had never paid attention to it. But at that time, it was Enemy, Sounds, and The Melody Maker. So there were fucking three of them oh, yeah. going at each other all the time. And everybody was trying to find the next big thing. So it's like, you know, this one would be like, oh, this is the next big thing. And and then uh, the other one would be like, fuck them. They're no cool. They're not any good. And then like, you know, the next big thing would headline Reading before even having a fucking album out. <laughs> and then, you know, that would disappear. It, but it seemed like the turnaround was really quick. Oh, yeah. Because I were the bi-weekly or uh, bi-monthly. I don't know how often it would come out, but Weekly. it seemed like, yeah. So it was like, you know, you got to fucking find something to write about. I, I don't know if you remember either of you, but um, so I was looking for Foo Fighters' first ever enemy cover to kind of maybe jog your memory. And I don't know if you can see that, but uh, there it is. Yep, I remember that day. Oh, I remember man. taking those pictures. It was down <laughs> by UW. <laughs> yeah. Did, 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 I remember I had, I had Pumas on. I was wearing Pumas. <laughs> you know, I think that was a big deal for us because at that time, God, we were so, we'd only been, speaking of bands, been around long enough and have to fucking headline reading uh at that point we'd probably only been a band for i don't know four or five months maybe yeah not long enough to be on the cover of any fucking magazine um those are the days a long time ago man a long time ago i'm sure you were just a a, a little glimmer in your parents eye i had already stopped taking acid at that point just let's, let's think of it that way do you um, know that from from today to 1980 is the same amount of time from 1980 to 1939. That's so fucked up. Enemy is probably the only publication crazy enough to give me a godlike genius award. <laughs> that says a you lot. You gotta love him for that. Yeah. Godlike genius. I mean, I don't know if I'd ever trust one word in that magazine ever again. Do you remember that night where you accepted that award? I do actually, yeah, because then we jumped up on stage and we played for a long time. I think we might have played the entire new record and then played more songs. <laughs> but I remember people were standing on tables. Um, yeah, it was great. It was a fucking good time. Mm -hmm.